بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دا ٹاپک آف اور ڈسکشن ٹوڈے از دی اناٹمی آف دا یوٹرس اٹس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک فار آل دی آبسٹریشنس اینڈ گائنکالوجسٹ اوکے سو بیسیکلی وٹ از اے یوٹرس یوٹرس از آلسو کال ووم ان لے مین ٹرمس اینڈ دا شیپ از دا شیپ آف دا یوٹرس از لائک اے پیئر okay inverted pear shaped muscular organ of the female reproductive system is that of the uterus you can see here okay it is located between the bladder and the rectum on the front side we have the bladder and on the back side we have the rectum okay so what is the main purpose of this uterus by almighty allah basically the main function of the uterus is to nourish and house a fertilized egg after the fetus uh, sorry until the fetus or offspring is uh, ready to be delivered okay so basically it's the house of fertilized egg uh, till the fetus is formed the offspring of the fetus which is ready to be delivered is formed that is placed inside the uterus okay so uh, let us talk broadly um, and uh, let us look at the main components of the uterus we have basically the fallopian tubes we have the ovary okay and um, in inside the uterus we have the different layers okay like we have the endometrium the innermost layer the next is that of the myometrium which is the muscular middle layer and the outermost is that of the perimetrium which is the outermost layer okay and uh, we have cervical os as well okay vagina is there the cervix and uterus so these are all the basic uh, parts of the uterus now understanding the um ligaments supporting ligaments of the uterus is very important okay we have basically the uterosacral ligament which is the uh, the strongest ligament the main ligament of the uterus okay not only the uterosacral but also cardinal ligament is very important so these two ligaments provide the main strength to the uterus okay then um as uh, the name indicates the uterosacral ligament starts from the uterus till the sacral promontory the cardinal ligaments are on the lateral side of the uterus bilaterally we have the broad ligaments on the both sides although it is not a very strong support but yes to some extent it provides support as well the round ligaments are also there it's very important for obstetrician and gynecologist to know about all these ligaments because during surgery we need to know which ligament are we uh, dealing with okay then uh, let us talk about the parts of fallopian tube the tubes which arises from the uterus are basically the fallopian tubes we have isthmus uh, ampulla and the in fundibular part okay the ends are those of fimbria which are basically attached to the ovaries and they are basically the finger like projections from the fallopian tubes which helps in getting the egg from the ovary and uh, delivering it to the uterus okay now blood supply of the uterus is very important we need to know which vessels come to supply the blood to the uterus okay the uterine artery this is the main artery okay uterine artery which arises from the anterior division of internal iliac artery okay we have aorta we, uh, from aorta uh, we have division uh in the abdomen we have in uh, iliac artery so the iliac artery is of two types the internal iliac and external iliac so this is the internal iliac from which the uh uterine artery arises so that is the uterine artery basically okay it crosses above the ureter on its course to the uterus okay so that is called the bridge over water okay so that is ureter which is coming from the kidney to the urinary bladder and this uterine artery it crosses the uh it crosses the ureter 
okay now the uterine artery commonly anastomoses with the vaginal and ovarian arteries ovarian artery is here this uterine artery anastomoses with the ovarian artery on one side and and with the vaginal artery on the other side okay so the uterine artery is the main blood supply to the uterus and it enlarges significantly during pregnancy okay so that was a little bit description of the blood supply of the uterus its uh, supporting structure its main parts okay thank you so much i will come again with another video allah Hafiz.